My name is David Owen and I am a member of the Historic Aero Engines Group, which is a, a voluntary group of engineers and enthusiasts in aero engines. And we're here today at RAF Museum London to display this Rolls-Royce Merlin aero engine. This engine was built in uh, June 1943 as a Mark 22 Merlin and would most probably have been installed on a Mark 1 Lancaster bomber. And this particular engine found its way to a test facility and was used uh, for generating wind. Ultimately it fell into my hands and uh, after seven and a half years of restoration and the building of this trailer it now spends its life entertaining and educating uh, interested members of public at venues like the Hendon Museum here um, and uh, is doing what it does best, produces a spectacular sound and wind and a lot of interest from the visiting public. To start the Merlin uh, is a matter of a few controls that happen in sequence. The first thing I will do is switch on the fuel. So the fuel is now available to flow into the carburetor. Next thing I will do will be to unscrew the Kygas priming pump and withdraw the cylinder. And I'll use this for priming the engine whilst it's cranking. I then activate the magneto switches in readiness for start. I will then check with my safety officer to ensure that he's happy that I start the engine and, and then I will ready myself with my fingers on the start and magneto ground buttons, activate one or both booster coils, crack open the throttle a couple of inches, and then in combination, I will depress both starter and magneto ground buttons. So the engine will now be cranking. And I will be pumping a couple of strokes on the Kai gas pump to prime the engine. And when the engine fires, I will then take my one finger off the magneto ground button, so now the magneto is alive and the engine should now start. 